The unexpected adventure after missing the first bus. Hi Barbara, you won't believe what happened to me this morning. Hello Robert. I'm curious now. What happened? I missed the first bus to work. I woke up late and rushed to the bus stop, but I was too late. Oh no, Robert. That must have been stressful. How did you manage to get to work? It was indeed, but something interesting happened. I decided to wait for the next bus and while waiting, I decided to have a cup of coffee from the cafe near the bus stop. That sounds nice. So, was your day better after the coffee? It was, Barbara. At the cafe, I met an old friend from college who I hadn't seen in years. We had a long chat and even decided to catch up more often. Well, Robert. Missing the bus turned out to be a good thing after all. Yes, it did. I was reminded of how small surprises can make your day. That's true, Robert. It's important to remain positive even in unexpected situations. How was the rest of your day? It was quite good, Barbara. I managed to catch the next bus and reach work on time. I had a productive day at work, and the meeting with my old friend made it even better. That's great, Robert. I'm happy to hear that you had a good day, despite the initial hiccup. Thanks, Barbara. It was indeed an unexpected adventure. How was your day? My day was quite usual, Robert. But hearing about your day made it more interesting. I'm glad to hear that, Barbara. It just goes to show that every cloud has a silver lining. Absolutely, Robert. Thanks for sharing your story with me. You're welcome, Barbara. I'm looking forward to more unexpected adventures. Me too, Robert. Let's hope for the best. Behind the scenes of a best-selling novel, a candid conversation with David the author. Hi David, how are you today? Hello Barbara, I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? I'm fine, thanks. I've heard that you're writing a novel. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. I've been working on it for the past few months. That's exciting. Can you share what it's about? Well, it's a mystery novel set in a small town. The main character is a detective trying to solve a series of unusual events happening in the town. That sounds interesting. What inspired you to write this novel? I've always been a fan of mystery novels, and I wanted to create my own unique story. The idea of a small town with secrets appealed to me. I can't wait to read it. What's your process for writing a novel? I start by outlining the main plot and characters. Then, I work on each chapter, focusing on keeping the story engaging and suspenseful. It seems like a lot of work. How do you stay motivated? I try to write a little bit every day, and I always keep in mind the end goal, which is to create a captivating story for readers. That's a great approach. Do you have any tips for people who want to write their own novels? Definitely. Start with an idea you're passionate about, create an outline, and write a little every day. Don't worry about it being perfect at first, you can always edit later. Those are helpful tips, David. When do you expect to finish your novel? I'm aiming to finish the first draft in the next couple of months. After that, I'll spend some time editing and refining the story. That's wonderful, David. I wish you the best of luck with your novel. I'm sure it will be a success. Thank you, Barbara. I appreciate your support and kind words. Behind the scenes of the stock market. Hi Barbara, how have you been? Hello David, I've been well, thank you. How about you? I'm good, thanks. I heard that you started working for a stockbroker. 
How's that going? It's been a fascinating experience, David. I've been learning a lot about how the stock market works. That sounds interesting. Can you explain a little bit about what a stockbroker does? Sure, a stockbroker is a professional who buys and sells stocks and other securities for both retail and institutional clients through a stock exchange or over the counter in return for a fee or commission. I see. That seems like a very important job. What's your role in the company? I work as an assistant to the stockbroker. I help in researching the stock market, preparing reports, and handling client communications. That must be a lot of work. But it also sounds like a great opportunity to learn. Yes, it's quite challenging, but also very rewarding. I get to be involved in exciting financial transactions and help our clients make informed investment decisions. Do you have any advice for someone interested in investing in the stock market? Well, I'm not a financial advisor, but I would say it's important to do your research, understand your financial goals, and be prepared for the risks involved. Also, it can be helpful to work with a professional, like a stockbroker. Thank you for the advice, Barbara. Your job sounds very exciting. I might consider investing in the stock market myself. I'm glad to hear that, David. Remember, it's always a good idea to get professional advice before making any investment decisions. Absolutely, Barbara. Thanks for the insightful conversation. I hope we can chat more about this in the future. Of course, David. I'm always here if you have any more questions. Have a great day. Istanbul Travel Hey, did you go on a trip recently? Hi. Yes, I went to Istanbul last weekend. Really? How was it? It was great. I visited so many beautiful places and tried delicious food. What was your favorite place that you visited in Istanbul? Definitely the Hagia Sophia. It was so impressive and had such a rich history. I've heard it's a must-visit place in Istanbul. Did you also go to the Blue Mosque? Yes, I did. It was so beautiful, with its blue tiles and intricate designs. That sounds like a great trip. I would love to visit Istanbul, someday. You should. It's a wonderful city with so much to see and do. You'll love it.